Oh, wow. You guys are still here, eh? You guys would have left. We were there for a while, but... I don't, I don't know if you guys know what's happening next, but... We got the main event that's about to slam down here. Jimmy, you still alive? I'm still alive. Uh, your mic is messing up a little bit, just FYI. Is it my, messing up on stream or in Discord? Because I had the Discord mic in oh, my mouth, and I didn't realize now. it was inside of my beard. <laughs> um, you sound so much better now. Yeah, but uh, so we got... Uh, I, uh, you You guys know who they are. You guys yep. know Sublet and Armando, the absolute killers. One from Canada, one from the United States. Let's uh, let's get him up on uh, the screen right now. Yeah. Judge, of course, when they're ready, tell them to reveal those leaders. Oh, man, I'm so excited. Who is ready Go for ahead, this fight? Go ahead, reveal your leaders. You guys are good to start. Oh, man. SS4 Vegeta. <laughs> We got another blue versus blue match. Like, we're getting the colors going against each other here. But we got SS4 Ramp Vegeta. Hell yes. Starting off with a Zeno. Janemba. So, Sublet coming in, dropping down Zeno super combo. Oh, man. I'm so excited for this. Oh, yeah. This Y'all don't know the Sublet. Event. He is a... Uh incredible at, at dragon ball super he actually keeps a wall of leaders that he's won or topped events with um it is ridiculous how big this wall is he only counts uh large like tournament regionals and it, it's just or, or like higher than that like invitational stuff like that but so it, it's so basically like, his ridiculous. house is just made out of cards yes okay yes very expensive cards <laughs> Well, I got I got to introduce my own team member here. Um, one of the captains on Team Berserk, Armando King of the North, hashtag Canadian Jesus. Like I said, I'm obligated to say that or I will be put down. But um, <laughs> an absolute killer here. I always, We always bust his balls on the podcast. Just uh, the Team Berserk talks, but he's an absolute legend here, especially up in the cold hellscape of Canada. And he, I guess he, his whole thing with Fight Night is he got the community to pick his three decks. And that's, uh, I'm loving the Jackie Chun. That's all I'm saying is that better come out. <laughs> that's true. That's true. The predictions. I know, Grick. Thank you. I was getting too excited here. Yeah, th this is going to be great, though. Both very high-skilled players. You're going to see a lot of high-level of play here. Very competitive. Both tons of accomplishments in the Dragon Ball card game. This is going to be a great time. Also funny, on the team talk that I was on recently, uh, um, or maybe, I don't know if it was the one I was on or the one after, uh, Armando is definitely not respecting that SS4 Vegeta deck, so it's it's extra funny that Sublet's playing it. We'll see uh, we'll see how it goes in practice. <laughs> to be fair, that is Armando's style. He doesn't respect too many decks. That yeah, that's true. That's very true. All right, so sublet at four energy. We see the UI Kamehameha charge, Sensu Bean, and Boo Unison. What is the card all the way to the right? I can't see it on, from my screen. That looks like the Spirit Boost Unison uh, from okay. my eyes. I'm not sure, though. Maybe someone in chat can help me out here. But I do have those Oh, you know what? I think it might be top. Borgos. It's might Borgos. Be Borgos? Okay. I was too busy with doing the votes. I was trying to think of clever names, but it didn't let me fit everything. I tried to do the man who beat God in a card game, but it didn't let me do that. It was too long. So we see another bean drop down to energy, swinging in with his leader. I 
I have not seen Blue Janemba in so long. <laughs> so funny. I'm trying to think. I, I saw it recently. It was uh, a blue-yellow build, which this is looking the same way. It didn't do oh, much. Oh, and Armando did mill the... He got the 17 milled off Sublet. That's good. That's good. Everyone putting all those Timbits on Armando, eh? The, the FF7 music? The music, yeah, of course. Too. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> Spira, thank you so much uh, for joining the Timbits gang. Tap in five. What do we get here? Uh, he's playing it for five. Ooh. He's keeping, it a, he's keeping it a little extra here. I like this. I like this. I mean, why not? You know, like, what is he afraid of at this point? You better be to be able to continue on Dragon Roost Island. Okay, okay. If if you are going to throw that in. This Spear, thank you so much for the five gifted subs. Thank you so much. Yeah, I don't I don't think there's any risk really here to tapping five for that unison. I think that's no, probably a strong call. Yeah, it's it's he's keeping an extra minus one on it. Like it, Yep. Yep. An extra turn to have it drawn back a block over a hundred viewers again. Wow! I don't know if I can go nuts twice, but uh, <laughs> Brett, thank you, you beautiful people, for coming, watching, coming and watching and coming. You can do that too. I don't know. Uh, keep it under the sun visor. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, just right, give me so one second in. here. And we do see the Chilled's army reinforcements coming down. So I'm assuming that Armando swung into unison. So that was a great play. Uh, that's going to allow Sublet to awaken now. That's one of the really strong things that sometimes gets overlooked from those negates uh, from battle evolution. It oh, is yeah. uh, it's really powerful in blue when people try to stall your awaken and you can't get there. Especially in a deck like Blue Baby, you definitely don't want to plan it Tuffle to Awaken. Uh, that gives you a bit more value. Very true. You actually get to keep the life instead of putting something back. Yep. My man just said keep it under the sun visor. If you know the reference, you know the reference. And look at that. The, uh, the aptly named Han is back. The aptly named Durag Han back out. Is it gonna put? Uh, is it gonna be as deadly as it was in the last game? I don't know. Man, get him! He did get him! Work. Did rep him! Yeah, he was. Yeah. Get him! Got him. Yes, it is now do rag Han. Yep. I was going to say, get him on board. All right, so we see the D-Magic. That's already three D-Magic's gone. And I yeah. know I can I can feel Nick wincing about the mixed rarity D-Magics. <laughs> and we see the five drop golden baby come down. Ooh. Wow. Wow. And it's the winner one, too. Subway probably wipes his ass with those. He's probably got so many of them. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Ooh, the Ultra Instinct Kamehameha. Yep, that is the play. I, I just, as an iconic attack rare, I don't know why they did that and not just him skateboarding on Kefla's beam, because that is way cooler. It's cooler, but that yeah. art is freaking yeah, it's fire. It's fire. Though. There's no complaints from me on that art. The betting's over. Is 4K Timbits in the pool? Wow. 40K, sorry. And we are back past 100 viewers, guys. Wow. 
100 viewers. That is that is insane. I'm glad there is 100 people watching this Fight Night Madness. It's cuz it's cuz they tasted the Armando versus Sublet in the air. <laughs> If you are new and just joining us, uh, this is not your typical game of Dragon Ball. They come with three decks, and after each game, instead of sideboarding, they side literally into an entirely new deck. And Armando actually had the Hermit Style Discord chime in on what decks they would like him to play. And this was one of them, playing Janemba Mill. <laughs> Jay Degendorf said, Armando messed up asking Degenerates to pick his decks. He probably did. <laughs> to be fair, whoever told him to pick Jackie Chun, you get a high five. I remember when people ran that leader because of Deadly Defenders. That was hilarious. Yeah, I also remember that. I used to run it just because I love World Martial Arts Oh, tournament well, yeah, decks. obviously you. <laughs> That's a perfect <laughs> fit. <laughs> But Jackie Chun and of course Oob. Oob's my favorite deck of all time. Favorite deck of all time, eh? Oh man. I love me some blue Oob. Hey, you sound like me with Zamasu. <laughs> Set two, but I uh, they've they've banned so many cards that made that deck even half playable. So we saw him on the combo out and Sublet swinging in with a token. Okay, okay. I don't even know what card Armando just played. I was going to say, what the hell did Armando just play? <laughs> Maybe he thought that was the blue commemorative photo. <laughs> no, he just played the champ to the rescue. So if you are not familiar with this card, uh, it's a counterattack, cost one, negate the attack, then your opponent may choose one of their cards in active mode and switch it to rest mode. If they do not, add this card uh, to your hand from your drop area and you can't activate counter skill and copies of this card for the turn. That's not bad. <laughs> that is some spice. In a mill strategy? Armando's getting it. real wild. <laughs> um, but Sublet did tap a battle card, so that did stay in the drop. Taking the life with a D magic, milling two. Ooh, a D magic and an energy annihilator. Getting some big boys in the drop. Oh, yeah. Armando sitting at five energy. He's got two of the four drop Bojacks charged. One of the uh, old expansion Bojacks charged as well. Okay. Oh, is that a Gokua being played? Yep, that is a Gokua. So, got rid of the Kai. You see Armando awaken, and back up to four active energy. All right, let's uh, let's see what he can do now. Now he does have access to a negate that is once per game for addition of blue card. Which hell, if uh, Fu uh, if Fu shrouded comes out, that negate is still alive. Yeah, you know how much Blue loves Fu Shrouded. Sublet doing a count there. I, I didn't catch how many cards he counted that were left in his deck, though. It's Did still gonna it? be. It's still no, but it's still gonna be. Uh, he wouldn't be able to do it in a turn or two. 
Maybe 15? That's what Jay's saying, 15? Okay. 15-ish, yeah. Still Seems gonna be hard. About right. Yeah, for sure. Consistent 105 viewers, let's go. Hell yeah. Woo! Hell to the yells. And we all know I've been doing a lot of that tonight. <laughs> we, we've had a lot of voices come out of you tonight. Oh, yeah. Biohazard, thank you very much for joining the Timbits <laughs> gang. Yeah! <laughs> Uh, to do that voice, I had to move my hands a lot. Riddlebox said, this is like if Jordan played Bird in a game of street ball in the park and invited everyone to watch. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh, man, and the Goku Vegeta coming down. Zen Butai, thank you so much. Card is so ugly as a non-foil and one of my oh. favorite arts as a winner. Oh, God. The hands are so, like, mismatched there. Oh, oh. it's so cringy. It's so cringy. But the winner, though. I like that Armando put the winner in his deck list. Like, he couldn't admit that the non-foil he was using. Yeah. <laughs> so you guys made me pick this pick this deck. I'm going to make it look as weird as possible. Let's go. Yeah. Hercule. <laughs> Jay Clevin said, come on, sub it, play tight, and end it. Yeah, if he has it, he did get one milled. A Dragon Ball Junkie, yeah, you're back right in time for the main event. We just were in game one right now of the main event. The main event. You came back right on time. How long have we been going? Like four and a half hours? We've been uh, keeping pretty good time here. Everyone's been going playing yeah. pretty fast here. Yeah. Well, we started sixth. Yeah. Yeah. Four and a half hours. Uh, there's the... Uh... Oh. Armando shaking the table a little bit here. <laughs> um, I just like I got my own Vegeta getting his ass kicked. <laughs> Ooh, Zamasu. Okay, okay. Were we tapping there the monkey? Yeah, we are. Of course. Ooh, Chilled Army reinforcements. There's Armando's style of play where he throws all the cards on top of each other. <laughs> My OCD is just killing me. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> and this, My this cards is... are always, like, lined. Uh -huh. this, I'll be honest with you, this is the neatest I've ever seen Armando play. <laughs> he's he's trying real hard for the stream. Yeah. <laughs> he said, "Oh man, 100 plus viewers. Let me, let me try a little harder than usual." <laughs> come on, I, I I told him before. I'm just like, come on. I got everyone else to get webcam verified. He's just like, you're just bullying me now. I'm like, you're not wrong, but please. <laughs> <laughs> for the love of God. <laughs> Is he playing on an ironing board? Yeah, that's. <laughs> that's <not a> bad <laughs> Spear with the chirp, Armando's deck is so ugly. But yeah, that's <laughs> I know Nick is saying the same thing. Poor Armando. <laughs> His wife is holding the camera. <laughs> it doesn't stop. <laughs> All right, we see the block come in. Oh, to and, Armando's uh, turn now. turn back to Armando. What's this? One life to three life here. Yeah, we're we're gonna need to see what he can do here. Um, all I'm saying is it doesn't look like it's going to be a mill strategy. Yeah. He's, his clock is running out, that is for sure. Oh, yeah. Still chose <laughs> to take the life there. Even though he had one up. Sublet Rosh, uh, he's rocking a Jurassic Park shirt as per normal. I don't think I've ever seen him without one. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. That's his thing is Jurassic Park, eh? Okay, okay. He 
put the thumbs up. What's happening next? Oh. There we go. Subgalactic buster from another universe. <laughs> A blue spice. Yes, exactly. <laughs> All you guys watch Fight Night, you should know what spice is now. That was that green Goku coming to Jackie Chun. <laughs> this is... It has been a wild yeah. night. Okay. And on to Sublet. Now, Armando passed with all his energy up. This this game may not be over this turn, depending on what Armando's hand is. Arm Armando's got a thick hand. He's got a thick hand, and he's got all of his energy to use for blue. Granite, Sublet also has a ton of energy. So the game could very well be over. Yeah, that could but, be... I mean, Armando has milled a lot of his threats. I don't know what he's got left in his hand. That's true. And... Baby Hatch is something. Ooh, but even oh, better than Baby man. Hatch. Way better. Yeah, this is actually, yeah, this is pretty cool right here. It's just, yeah, you're going to monkey this one? Come on, do it. Mm. Waiting for the Duck Dizzle to drop? I don't know, maybe. No, okay. So he clearly has it. He either has a baby ape or that was the best bluff I've ever seen. He literally pulled five to the side as if he was going to tap. Okay, and it appears he let it go. Okay. No I monkey guess. time. But he didn't rest. I don't know. He didn't. So he yeah, gets that back to his know. hand. Can't use it for the rest of the turn. But Sublet is still looking to finish it this turn. There, ah, duck dizzle. there it is. <laughs> Going with the Zamasu. <laughs> yeah, and I guess they're calling that game. Looks like game one is going to sub. He was running more than one of the Android 17 turning the tides. And then judge if you just get me. Oh, wait, are they not done? Well, oh, there's no oh, reason to scoop yet because true. he okay, gets the okay. draw. I honestly um, thought he was picking. I thought anything I that can save him, but yeah, you know. I thought he picked up his life too. I didn't even notice that. No. I was gonna say I'm like I've never seen Armando scoop. He just let seventeen resolve. Yeah, I forgot. I gotta shuffle the drop area back. Most people they see seventeen like yeah, uh, screw this, it's over. <laughs> Doug Dizzle. <laughs> Everyone's quacking in the chat. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Ooh. He's reading. He's probably, if he wants to just keep a card to hand. I think you have to place it back down. And there we go. That's <laughs> there, the there game right go. there. Okay. All right. So game one goes to Sublet with SS4 Vegeta. I think uh, Ar Armando came in with quite the handicap coming in with Milnemba, but he put up a you know put up a decent fight. Oh yeah. Of course, a stall deck going into a blue deck like. 
But uh, Judge, uh, as soon as they can get me those next leaders, they can reveal them after I get both of them. God versus Jesus living up to the hype. <laughs> <laughs> Wondering what leaders they're gonna pick for the second game. Okay, uh, I next, got both next of them. Two. Okay, they, cool. they are ready to show those leaders. Okay, uh, Rosas said you guys are ready to go. And keeping with the theme of fight, fight night six. Everyone is just going the like same color against same color here. We had blue <laughs> versus blue. Now we got green versus green. So. Deb debatably the most, not debatably at all, the most meta-relevant deck that <laughs> Armando has brought here, the Boo from set 14. Brand new to see what this does. And yeah, it looks and like is... if, if we pass this game, it will be Jackie versus Invoker. <laughs> oh man, that's hilarious. <laughs> But these are uh, these next two decks are the the sublet special. His uh, this is one of his favorite decks, and Invoker is one of his other favorite decks. Ooh, we not gonna see Chun? You don't think? Our, you're already counting Armando out here. Oh, uh oh. Oh man. Oh, well, man. he is starting in rest mode, so you know. I was yeah. hoping to see a Master Roshi drop from Sublet. He borrowed two from me for tonight. Ooh, okay, okay. But, uh, no can do now. Like, SS4 is done. <laughs> hey, I think that's an underrated uh, six drop. Yeah. I think if you're running, like, SS3 or anything where you can keep energy after, that is a beautiful card. Yeah, for sure. Junkin said Boo can draw enough if it gets rolling. Yeah, it has some crazy combos in there where it can like it can it can really plus a lot. Uh it's gonna be an interesting game for sure. <laughs> Does he get the turn one field for Broly? Drop answers in the chat below. <laughs> if he doesn't get the turn one field, wow. That is that's gonna be very hard. Well, Armand, Armando got his healing pot. That's good. Uh oh, what the? F the stream dipped. I think we're back. I think we're back. Yeah. Okay. The Rogers guy was outside. I had to, I had to give him a smack in the teeth. So we see a Ribrian go and the SS3 yeah. Broly go. Well, here's the field, unless they're all in life. And that would be <laughs> yeah. painful. What what a what a time. <laughs> that did happen to me one time when I was playing um, the Gex. I did the you know the trunks over them. And all of my reluctant reinforcements, all of them in my life. Ugh. I was like, what world am I living in here? Hell, that's the world. <laughs> All right, so obviously the field spell comes down, and he's got Ooh. the Paragus. Wow. Oh, very strong wow, start wow, for wow, 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 wow. Very, very strong start. <laughs> Pac-Man said commemorative photo 2.0, a.k.a. the Pac-Man special. Yeah. <laughs> Are these games best two out of three per round? Yes, they are. So the only difference is set a side, uh, side boarding you side deck. So if Sublet wins this next match, it's over. If not, then we're going to game three. But yeah, that Paragus and oh my god, that this deck's the reason why that card's so expensive for being uh, uh, old promo. Yeah, I'm hoping that this. Um... I'm hoping that this goes to game three, though. Oh, uh, I am hoping. <laughs> I'm hoping so I'm bad. I'm just praying to see Jackie Chum versus Invoker. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. That sounds hysterical. <laughs> I just want to see what this boo can do. This I really haven't seen this boo do much. There are some really, really cool plays once. this boo yeah. can do.
I think it's a cool concept for a deck. Getting effects from your cards that you're eating, like... So we see Tapion come down to drop. Seen a couple of those Tapions already throughout uh, yeah. Fight Night. Got 23rd Boo has potential. Yeah. I just, yeah, I just want to see how it goes. I just haven't seen any uh, master level swinging it out yet, so. Yeah, there, there's another free draw for the turn. Awakening with an actual dictionary in his hand. Uh, oh. Is this blue-green boo? I don't believe so. I think he just has the blue-green tapion in there. But we'll see. I won't give away all the secrets. But it looks like we got Armando swinging there. <laughs> Say collector leader, of course. Yeah. Oh yeah, if you're playing OG Broly, you gotta be playing with the collector leader. So oh yeah, nice. that's just him cocking back the. Uh, what do you, I don't know what the hell that's called. The, his key blast, whatever. That's I know it has some name like in the games. Yeah, I have no some idea. Some official what it is. name to it. I don't know what it is. I'm sure it does. Wow. Sublet really has it really starting off well this game. Oh, yeah. I don't think it could have gone much better for him. Oh, Broly's attack is a racer cannon. Thank you, Optimus. Racer cannon. That's the name. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> Why do anime characters announce their attacks? Because it's cool, get them. They want to be cool. I don't think Broly ever did. He just pissed and moaned. At least that Broly. Yeah, that's and true. He said, I <laughs> am a demon. <laughs> <laughs> Monster, you say? All right, so we see the one-drop boo come down from Armando. Uh, if you don't know what this does, it's one of the newer cards. It's a Union Absorb once per turn. Choose one card under your Majin Leader card and place it under this card. Uh, play up to one mono green Majin Buu card with an energy cost of four and 15,000 power from your deck or drop area on top of this card. Then shuffle your deck. Uh, when he's played, he draws a card, which he's already played the four drop on top of it. That is the Majin Buu Mighty Absorption. Uh, the Majin Buu Mighty Absorption, which I do have a pre-release stamp of if you, uh, for whoever won that last giveaway. I forget their name now. Um, you have it written down, there. right? It <laughs> Yeah, he messaged me already. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, you know the funny thing about you explaining that card? You explained it the exact timing that he was doing everything. Literally, like, you draw a card, <laughs> he draws the card. Nice. Shuffling his deck, so that was, that was good timing. It was very, very planned. Very, very planned. planned. But, uh, Mata's getting rolling. Uh, he, um, this, this, uh, I'll, I'll read off this boot, too. I know some people aren't as familiar with these ones yet. Um, so if this card would be removed from your, this is permanent, will be removed from your battle area by an opponent skill, you may remove one of your Majin tokens from the game instead. Uh, when he's played, he can add up to one green unison card with 10,000 power from your deck to your hand. Uh, obviously shuffle your deck, and then if you added a card to your hand, you can choose, you have to choose one card in your hand and discard it. He also has an activate main limit one, uh, spirit boost one. Uh, play one Majin token, then add up to one card from your life to your hand. And the Majin tokens do have 15k power. So none. And zero combo cost, 5k combo power. I know we haven't seen those often recently. Majibu is only a 15k though, swung in, sublet easily combos out. 
He did combo with uh, Frieza. He doesn't have the unison on board yet. Um, so that leaves me to believe he either doesn't have a unison or probably has another Frieza. I am back. I was trying to check on why the internet kept dipping. Hopefully uh, it doesn't happen. That's all I'm saying. Uh-oh. Yeah. Of course, in the main event is when we start having problems here. Oh, no. But uh, right now is it's that... in the green. We're in the clear. Okay. okay. I came back. What, what do we got Have we here? cut out at all? We haven't cut out. We've been dipping. Okay. It's been dipping and like getting super laggy, but I was wondering why Discord was looking like so bad, and I was like, ah, it's the stream is also tanking too. There's got to be some with the internet. But I think we're in the clear now. Knock on wood. We got a chilled Ooh. out here. Two Paragus is disgusting. Is he going to get all four out this game? That, uh, that Bob of the Unison is interesting, too. He's got it at two markers right now, but uh, interesting permanent. If you have a battle card with the Servant skill in play in Rust Mode, your opponent can't attack this card, so it just has some natural defense built into the Unison, which oh, yeah. is neat. And he does boost something up and give it Servant, right? For Basically, so you can't target the Unison, so you're just swinging onto a bigger body that's 15k or yep. less, and he gives it Servant, so it becomes 25k in that boost case. Yep. And yes, Hermit style breaking the internet, of course. <laughs> oh, okay. So that's very interesting. So Armando sliding another Majin or Majin, but another Bobbity unison underneath. Um, going back to two, so he puts his you know counterplays online, but that does take a card out of his hand. So that that was definitely an interesting it is scary. line. We'll see if that pays off for him. He still does have a pretty decent sized hand, but. Sub hey man, literally has scary. his deck in his hand. Probably scary. He's got his deck in his <laughs> hand, so anything's possible. Demonic restraint kind of nasty, yeah? Yeah, it is. Ooh, okay, and we see the Broly Unison come down. Very strong. Ooh, using the Charismatic off of the Unison play to pop the Paragus. And using the Charismatic for the... Yep. <laughs> oh yeah, you gonna pop my guy? Oh, he's not... Uh, oh, he's... pop your guy. And he pops the Frieza. Oh, no, I'm surprised. Did he... Uh, maybe he already drew with the Paragus, but... That I didn't pick up on. Hermit style breaking the internet. That that had to be what it was, Jay. I agree. Swinging with the Broly, making Armand. Ooh, going for the negate here. That, that negate is another new card. Uh, it's a limit one though. Uh, and if you're basically it negates the attack, plays them in rest mode, and. Um, if you negated a leader card's attack with this skill, your opponent can't attack with their leader card for the turn. Um, it does have a permanent. You can activate this card's counter skill from your hand without paying its energy cost by paying the cost for spirit boost 2 instead. Obviously wasn't going to do that and get rid of his unison, but... What is neat about that is that saves his, um, that saves his other, his Majin Buu. Oh yeah. So, and the funny thing is, that's actually a one of in Armando's deck. So that was actually a really clutch card to have there. Yeah, yeah, it was. Passing turn off to Armando. Gets his turn at having three energy. Counting his hand up. He still does have a decent size hand. Nothing compared to what Sublet has. Man, that was just a really cool turn. Like, we saw the Frieza into the Frieza. He was smart enough not to choose the Paragus, knowing that Sublet isn't going to pop his own Paragus. Yep. That that was that was real. And then the negate to make sure that, yeah, that, that was cool. Because, I mean, in a perfect world, there, there's definitely a chance that Sublet clears that healing pot that turn. 
No, oh, yeah, of course, but um, swinging with the boo here, especially when they plus two. Yeah, twenty k units. Yeah, they are disgustingly okay. strong. There's the dormant potential. Winner, of course. Oh, of course. Probably has more of those than the regular ones. Right. Five drop boo can deal with that. Yeah, the five drop boo is is uh, very strong. That's if we can get to turn five here. What are we sitting at? It looks like three life apiece. It is unfortunate that you do have to wait till turn five. I was like, there's got to be a way to cheat this card. Nope. Yeah, like a union of absorb or something. But yeah, yeah, he doesn't get his full effect until turn five anyway. Yeah, but I mean, the auto without it still will be crazy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But hmm, now I'm thinking about it. What is the specified cost on that boo? Is it five green? It is five green. Oh, okay, yeah. I was going to say, because maybe you go nuts, throw into Android 16, blue, green, ramp yourself up, get there quick. <laughs> yep. Yep. There's a five drop of five specified green. Fair, fair, fair. Yeah, I think, I think Bandai was thinking, you know what? If you can get there, you deserve this. <laughs> they do like to give us the turn five wing cons saw that uh with with invoker for a long time obviously till the recent ban now a little different it well, can still possibly win on turn five but the new collector scr the goku freeze can only be played five uh yep, yep. five yeah five, five is a, definitely a number mm-hmm Okay, so we see the one drop boo get popped. Looks like one drop boo getting played again. This is the first one he played this because there is two new one drop boos. Yep. Putting a body underneath him, Union absorbing into another Boo Tanks. He is spirit boosting for a ghost token, I believe. And Glowfather, thank you so much for joining the Timbits gang. Just in time for the main event. Uh, Jay Teo said you can to save a hopeful future it, but you wouldn't get the board wipe for the five drop boo. Yeah, okay, fair, fair, Very fair. True. Frank Castle, thank you so much for joining the Timbits gang. Already at 265 followers. Holy, this has been a crazy day. And staying strong over 100 oh, viewers. Yeah. Thanks, guys, for tuning oh, in. Yeah. Thank you for tuning in and watching uh, the main event here. I'm still I'm still praying and hoping we get to see that Jackie Chun. Elgato Loco TCG, thank <laughs> you so much for joining the Timbits gang. Both um, both Armando and Sublet, uh, regulars in the Hermit Style Discord. If you aren't in there, make sure to uh, make sure to jump in. It's a great time. Thank you so much, Jay. If you true, listen to him. He is a mod now, so crush that button promptly.
I have my buddies in my Snapchat just calling me out right now. It's just saying, what the hell? You have 102 viewers? You know what, Eric? Right now, if you're looking, burn in hell. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Holy three right in. The Chunkin, Nameless, and Edwin. Thank you so much for joining the Kibitz gang. <laughs> So wow. I said if Armando loses, I'm down fifty dollars. <laughs> oh, People God. are placing the real bets here. Placing the real bets. This is what, you got a Timbits bet, you got the Hermit bet, and then you got the you know the the top notch bets in the back there with Paulie Walnuts over there. <laughs> I do sports booking on the side, yeah. All right, so it's back to sublet. Come on. I just got to pray that Sublet whiffs on something here because I want to I wanna see this Jackie Chun. This isn't even biased <laughs> because he's my teammate. I just need to see Jackie Chun. After that, it's in, it's in God's hands. Looks like a lot of pondering and thinking right now. <laughs> Just, hmm. I mean, Arm Armando still has a, a pretty big hand considering he's going against I know. OG Bully. Sublet slayed him for <laughs> Yeah, God's that's why he, he took the title. Ooh. <laughs> Charismatic. Wow. It no, you can't. You yeah, can't. I was going to say, he's got... He's an 8-drop. No, yeah, yeah. That's. I was going to say, I'm like, with what unison? Yeah. Oh, yeah, That. well, that too. Oh, oh man. man, we see the SCR come Ooh. down. Holy shit. He's going to have to warp <laughs> for that effect, but, hey, that is worth it to get rid of that. Oh, that's 100% worth it. Wow, that is, that is four wow. energy down the drain. Wow, this that might have that might have turned the game. He, he's he's gonna have to really clap back here. He's taking the boo instead. He's realizing the unison might be better to keep. Yeah, the spice. Everyone thought he was running the <laughs> uh, the boo Kai in his deck, but no, he's he's going the classic green SCR. <laughs> I'm telling you, Armando isn't even playing at full power. His camera angle changes the nerf. Yeah, this is this is the first time Armando's actually had to have all his cards on screen. Oh man, that was funny. Yeah, the monkey. Monkey big, monkey strong. Oh yeah. It looks like we might have gotten right. to the point in the game where Armando's hand might be one or two cards bigger than Sublet's. Wow. Wow. Ape strong together. Caesar. Oh. <laughs> Heroine's oh. lineage before Heroine's lineage. True. Armando pushing a bit, though. Yeah, everybody has spam the monkeys in chat. The monk. <laughs> also, Armando right. opted not to charge. Back. I just realized that. Yep. Is he ready to go? I mean, third, you have to make there? a lot of hard decisions with charging when you when you play against green. It's true. 
specifically OG Broly, the, the very, very deadly hand control deck. Yeah, I mean, it's like, just a h hard decision sometimes. Hey, your boy Carlo going with the bad art pug TNs, hell yeah. Okay, and Armando passes, is back okay. to sublet. Didn't have enough to capitalize on him being tapped out. Yeah, the but unfortunate thing here is healing pods likely gone. Uh, let's see. <laughs> that monkey has far better have saved my fifty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> He said $50 we'll to we'll buy see. a monkey SCR. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Chat's funny. Armando holding up Boon Negate? I don't know. That would be clutch, but he only he only runs one. Um, I don't think he has any other play Negates, but we'll see. Air Fair Gaming, thank you so much for joining the Timbits gang. Let's go so coming in with the sublet. Okay, okay. King of Must, I need sublet to win. I, well, I know a guy that needs Armando to win for that fifty bucks. That's his, that, is that the third Paragus Super Combo on uh, Armando's side? Or is that second? Uh, I'll be honest, I don't know. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> um, yeah, I was going to say, I, I was just going to ask if uh, what Armando had killed off. I was wondering how Helium Pop was still on board. But they, 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 they just fixed yep. it. Unfortunate that that's gone, but he's yeah. at least gotten to a point in the game where it would have been much more impactful if that had gotten, if he had got rid of that, like, you know, turn two. Yeah. He's definitely gotten his value out of it. Fourth super combo. Damn, I haven't been paying attention at all. <laughs> yeah. I'm really bad at tracking that kind of stuff. Ooh, here we go. Oh, and Rosie comes down, and there is the Frieza. For the Rosie, because it is... It does have deflect, but Frieza doesn't care about doesn't deflect. Doesn't matter. It's an auto. Yep. 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 Looking for barrier, and Rosie don't got barrier, so he's not uh, swinging into his unison and killing it. Man, two turns in a row. Armando has the perfect answer. Yeah. Oh yeah, Rosie yeah, Ro is a wild Rosie card. Is, yeah, Rosie is sweet. Rosie is such an undervalued card. Especially if your opponent's got a unison out, that's just three markers gone. <laughs> three markers yeah, gone and two cards from a hand. There's definitely definitely going to be formats, too, where that other uh, green beast maiden whatever girl from Battle Evolutions is going to be playable, too. Uh, Kakunsa? Yeah, that card's yeah, only yeah, like a yeah. dollar. I don't, I'm like, wow. I don't know. I was, I was I running know. that Rosie in a TN hand control build I did, and it, it, did, it did hold its weight. Oh, yeah. It does work. I'm hoping that Kakunsa sees good play one day. One day. <laughs> One day. Armando's hand has gotten quite small, though. Quite small, but Sublitz is pretty small now, too, as well. Yeah. Not having that Paragus to get that extra drive return, obviously... Is Un unfortunate that. that those freezes keep getting cleared too. You see Armando yeah. just charged the Zamasu. He's like, oh, well, enough of this. Yeah. It's also unfortunate that he didn't charge that one turn because this would have been a turn that he could boo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Specifically the five drop boo. Okay. So it's allowing that to be played. Boo just picking his ear. We're going to... The, um, Take off the unison. 
Unfortunately, that five drop boo doesn't have barrier because he could also just get Frieza popped if he gets played. I mean, still good, but still get the auto, but he, you know, it's tapped out. Always love Armando's honest feedback of his hand state. This this is all going. The judges can hear this. We can't. But there's the charismatic. Yep. How many um does anyone has anyone in the chat tracked how many charismatics they've both been through? Just curious if anyone knows. I see at least one in Sublet's drop area, but I know he's used at least. That's at least got to be the. Oh, third. there's the cell Kamehameha. Ooh. Wow. Oh man. That's painful. Yeah. Oh man. This could be it. Three and three, okay. Ooh. Oh man. That's brutal. That's brutal. Is that the game right there? What? He had the five drop in hand too if he if he had the chance to charge. Oh man. Why didn't he just... Why didn't he negate? I don't know, he's probably explaining it right now. But I think someone might have just lost uh, $50. <laughs> yeah, it is looking like Sublet took the game. Well, as uh, as a member of Team Berserk, this is unfortunate, but hey. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Man, no no uh, invoker I'm from gonna... Sublet today. And no, no Jackie, Jackie Chun. Chun. I am sad. I am oh, sad. Oh, man. And he had the fighting against fates. Oh, that. Yeah. I Jackie... really want to hear from Armando why he did not negate. Yeah, let's. Uh... They want the Chun match. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Yeah, man. You uh, that was some great when play put, though. Uh, that, yeah. that was that was really fun to watch. A lot of like very small things they did that were. Uh, really there's fun. no time for the last round. I think we should. You should do it. For the oh man, they're just doing for the it. You stream, know, they they're are doing going it. to they're go doing with it. the last they're game. They're doing a game three. They're doing it anyways. Y'all are in for a treat. There you go. They're, they're doing here. game three. This is this is for the All people right. here. Drop some follows. Drop some subs. Yeah, come on, that's guys. come on. They're here to it entertain. Is, it's 11.40 at night, and they're out here playing Jackie Chun versus Invoker. Let's get it. Yeah, this is... Oh man, I'm so I'm so happy they're doing this. This is oh, sick. Yeah. No, this, <laughs> yeah. You guys get to see Jackie Chun. Oh, Chad and... is popping oh, yeah. off. Oh Let's yeah. Go. Keep sounding off, y'all. This is sick. The uh, the infamous Digimon sleeves there. <laughs> Spear said I'm pumped, but like, what the fuck is this matchup? <laughs> Hey man, you know. You know this. <laughs> this is what Fight Night's about here to have a Jackie Chun into a Invoker without uh, <laughs> with a limit I one mean, on it. In uh in the show fashion, it's probably about as fair as Jackie Chun would be fighting Ultra Instinct. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Hey, yeah, spamming those Chad coups and the TNs. Hell yeah. And also, stay tuned, y'all. We do have a surprise coming after this round that we haven't announced yet. Very true. Maybe have to do something with a little Easter egg that I was talking about that, I don't know, maybe maybe some of you in the chat have solved it, maybe some of you haven't, but I don't know. He said Encore to the Encore? <laughs> I don't know, that sounds a little crazy. Five hours into the stream, thank you. Well, thank you, Jay, and the Nick right now, as well as... Whoever yeah. else is judging right now, I don't want to click in the call and screw up everything. But and thanks to all the judges that have been participating as well. 
to help this move along and get yeah, all Mr. these matches Mr. on the Peter road. Yeah, Mr. Peter Vegeta's right. Go, uh, <laughs> y'all go in the Facebook groups. Tell people to get the hell in the stream yeah. and watch for the only time in their life yeah. they will see Invoker versus Jackie Chun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And while you're on Facebook, make sure you go and join that Dragon Ball Card Game Canada uh, Facebook group that is one of the sponsors for the stream, Christian Rice. He does these overlays. They're absolutely beautiful. He sponsors my channel as well and does the overlays. If you need any overlay work done, go to him. He is absolutely amazing. Man, they are off to the races. Uh, Armando already on turn two. Yeah. Swinging in. <laughs> you know what? Turn two, got the monk in the drop. Drawn two, let's get it. Invoker, tap one. Ooh, this is the first time that sublet hasn't gotten the perfect turn one. <laughs> it's okay. Or did, wait, did he charge red, blue, or did he charge blue? That's what I didn't see. So he charged blue, then he couldn't have played it anyway. He may have charged the red, blue. Chat, I'm sure there knows. We, we were too busy. I was talking. too busy. <laughs> too too busy geeking over the Jackie Chun. Yeah, yeah. And I saw I saw some spicy hat in there too, and I got excited to see it. Then again, just the leader itself is spice. <laughs> <laughs> Someone tagged the game devs. They could have never predicted this. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't know. I don't know if anybody's got a direct line to Bandai. Tell them to come in here and they'll shut everything down. Like, who the hell is this idiot talking over here? Holy <laughs> shit! I never really like looked all the way through Armando's list. Okay, his yeah, list I told you. is saucy, bro. Holy yeah. shit! That SCR. Oh, I'm not gonna give it away. We'll, no. we'll just we're just gonna see what happens. Exactly. Oh man. Uh, he does charge the ape. For those of you who have no idea what Jackie Chun does, which, which is probably a which lot of you. Which makes sense. Unless, unless, yeah, unless it you makes even, complete sense. Unless you're an old geezer <laughs> in this hard, card game like us, then I don't know. I used to play this deck. It's a lot of fun. Um, but the the four drop ape, if you have two or more world tournament cards in play, which is kind of a theme with that set, uh, you can play the four drop 20k ape for one. Um when he's removed from a battle area by a skill, which there are cards in the deck that do remove him. Uh, and you have to have four or more energy. That's how you know this is old. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This uh, one, they actually had restrictions <laughs> on things. The best part about this is I do like the chat. Sublet's on the back foot. Here, he's got to read the cards. <laughs> Sublet doesn't <laughs> even know what these are. This the, Armando should have started with this. So if you choose two cards from your hand to play some in your drop area, so he has to pitch two. <laughs> um... You can choose one of your en yellow energy and switch it to rest mode. Um, they could have just said cost one, but that's okay. Uh, if you did both, choose up to one unyielding victory Son Goku and one unyielding victory uh, Jackie Chun from your deck and play them. Um, now the Moon Destroying Kamehameha card. If your leader card, mm -hmm. it's a one drop extra card. If your leader card is a Jackie Chun, it gets 15,000 power for the duration of the battle. It's an activate battle. Uh, you may choose one of your battle cards in rest mode and place it in its owner's drop area if you do draw a card. So really not too bad, and honestly, I mean, against Invoker again, that, you know, a little bit of pressure there on turn four. Might be a little, probably a little too late at that point, but we'll see. We'll see. Maybe maybe he whiffs on the Vegeta and he gets some things rolling. But yeah, we that, that card you were talking about, the deck, that spice would be hilarious against Invoker is all I'm oh saying. Oh my god. Oh my, oh my god. god, yeah. I, uh, we'll see what happens here, guys. Um, does have Vegeta on three? The, the normal Invoker play. Ooh, if he has, if he, <laughs> I, I know he wouldn't be able to play it now, but like. Yeah, yeah. Oh, when in doubt, revert to Monk. Yes, yeah. it's Monk time. He does have that King Vegeta Unison on board, though. Uh, very interesting. He can minus four and play up to two great apes with different oh, yeah. names and cost of four or less. So synergizes with the four drop that he wants for the for the combo play. And then um, you know, he gives him access to all, all the other four drop apes, like Warcry and I don't believe Jackie attacks actives. He um he when he attacks a battle card, they cannot combo. Yes, that is correct. And N Royce Thanks for joining the Timbits gang. Probably mangled your name just like I did with everyone else's. So welcome to the gang. That's part of it. What a time right now. 
Good lord. Okay, sublet down to five life. <laughs> the way Armando slaps his car. Oh down. yeah. Armando's just like, yeah, oh, you know goodness. what? I got it. It gets me every time. I never get used to it. Oh, here we you go. Restanding. What do you, what you do think I Armando think? Armando uh, regrets letting letting the <laughs> letting the community pick his decks for him now. <laughs> From he, the way he's throwing down cards, maybe. <laughs> Spears. Yeah. <laughs> oh lord. Okay, and here Ooh. is the Master Roshi. He's just like, what the hell are these cards? What is this? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So since the chat, I'm sure doesn't know when you play that card, you, you it, it adds a card, to, it adds a card from your life to your hand, um, and then also you can tap one, choose another card in your life and add it to your hand, and you can add that extra card that I went over earlier, mm -hmm. the Moon Destroying Kamehameha. Uh, you can add that from your deck to your hand, but then that skill is negated for the duration of the game. So you get basically it gets you your combo pieces and it helps you to awaken. Yeah, this is when awakening was half the battle. Yep. Yep. Yeah. That is true. You know what? I'm upset that nobody played results of training. <laughs> Just turn five tap. I get to awaken now. Man, what a card! Remember when I was a staple? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> that might even be before my time. I I was oh, I came in set three. Okay, yeah, that that was probably after your time. You, that card used to be in a lot of decks. <laughs> oh God, <laughs> fun times. As someone who started the game, set eight, this leader is wild. <laughs> <laughs> Jackie Chun's funny, man. It like randomly. They'll just like have a good matchup out of nowhere against some random deck and they'll just like steal a win and your opponents will be like, what the hell did I just lose to? So Jackie Chun's still unawakened. Sublet passes turn back. And here we go. We'll, we'll see if the combo gets rolling now. I would love to see this Goku Jackie Chun hit the board. I don't think it will, but we'll see. You are right, Jay. We do already have a winner, but this is just for the fans here. So, all of you get your Timbits. Yes, I do believe Armando built the decks on his own. I think the input he got was the three decks, and then he built them yep. as he saw fit. Yeah, that is correct. Oh, and we see the champ pack Bardock come down. The little uh, mini draw ape. Mini draw ape, that is correct. This really makes me want to rebuild Jackie Chun. <laughs> oh, it, people are just wait. What? That was a leader? What? World tournament set? You mean Tien, right? <laughs> oh, there was other world tournament cards. The best set in Dragon Ball. I'm the only one who thinks that, though. You are it's literally okay. the only person. That was the one set we had at my locals that we had an abundance of, and <laughs> <the> locals. <laughs> Everyone were, did. Every yeah. Well, it's because they did the um, those promos. And they did that, it was like a campaign, um, I don't know what to call it, something that your local store had to sign up for, but they had to buy a ton of World Tournament, mm. and it was way after World Tournament release, so it was those power boosters. Ah, uh, yes, 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 yes. And stores just got stuck with loads of it who signed up. I know most of our locals didn't do it. Uh, we oh. had to drive pretty far to find a local just to get the promos, because at the time, everyone wanted, uh, there, there was a, quite a few of those that everyone wanted. No, fair enough. Yeah, that's that was actually funny enough. That was the first God Pack I ever got was from World Tournament, and it was I bought a box and then I just grabbed a single like a uh, single pack of 
on top of another box that they op opened. The single pack is the one that had the god pack. And I think my Ooh. booster box had the Goku, you know, the $10 secret rare. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. That's a, that's a lot of uh, Hermit-style Discord uh, mascots right there. And he's going for the Awaken. Oh, or not. Yeah, the other thing about Jackie Chun is that was also when we saw the two energy switching to active mode really become popular. And that's what Jackie Chun does on Awaken. So you really want to optimally Awaken and try to really pop off on a combo. But unfortunately, it is looking far too late for Jackie Chun to do much against Invoker. But we'll, we'll see. Armando might have a couple tricks left in the deck if he drew them. <laughs> Yeah, I agree, Aspira. I'm also glad they killed power boosters. They were not good for the game. <laughs> Another Royal Condemnation to hand. Unfortunate. Unfortunately, yes. Uh -oh. Dang, here comes Rival Seeker. Thank you so much, Hispira. Um, I'm just surprised we're that. still. I just surprised we're still alive, honestly. Yeah, yeah. I think I've gone through like five water bottles. I, I'm surprised my uh, jabbering hasn't caused everyone to leave. Thank you for bearing through it. <laughs> That's true, and me screaming with my mic. I keep seeing the red bar go off. I keep trying to lower it, and then I'm too quiet, and then I'm just giving up. This is uh, You Jake guys are Clevin here for them. Said, GG? I, I don't know. I mean, it's not as sure fire anymore with, you know, Kaplow the way it is. Uh, okay, so Armando's showing his hand. Uh, Shady Tree, Sublet already got it. They did the they did the last game just to uh, just for fun for the viewers because everyone wanted to see Jackie Chun versus Invoker. Uh, but Sublet just activated the uh, Invoker leader ability, so he's looking to rip a card. Armando going through his hand with him, probably explaining what the cards do. <laughs> Spira said play that six drop, yeah. Uh, that's I think that's what we're all waiting for. <laughs> Looks like Armando's reading the Goku to sublet. <laughs> That Goku is sweet, though. I like uh, in World Martial Arts Tournament, they also had all the SPRs. They all go oh, together. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The link. So they make like a little. I wish they did that more often. I, I love, love that art. I like how Armando's <laughs> explaining the whole hand to Sub. Sub is still like, what the hell are those cards? <laughs> Let's do a Jackie Chung deck profile? Hell yeah. It is really interesting with the uh, with the King Vegeta Unison though. It's cool that it has that option. When I when I played Jackie Chun, I played it blue yellow, and that was pretty fun. But that was also before Zeno Button was banned, so we had a lot of fun things we could do. <laughs> Mondo's entire head doesn't even qualify for free shipping. <laughs> oh wow, <laughs> top two. <laughs> oh, that's good. That might be my, the best comment. <laughs> No negates equals play victory strike. Yeah, if, if you have it. Granted, Sublet is the king of drawing victory strike. Let's see. That man is like Yugi Moto drawing a damn dark magician. Uh, 
I like that they linked all the angel god rares with their art. Yeah, I like them a lot too. I have I have a set of them, just one each, because they look really cool. Okay, we see the uh, what's it, the energy explosion? I think he is. Whatever the one, the down. one that the one that burns you to death. And Sevnik, thank yeah. you so much for joining the Timbis gang. You to death. And ah, wow, and there's there it is. Apex. And our model didn't even have the spice in his hand. I'm so sad that I didn't get to see oh, it. Oh man. Swing and swing for game. Oh no, that was that was countered. It was countered. Oh, in rest mode. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. I totally, I literally did yeah. not even see that card. I didn't board. either. <laughs> oh man, what a fun game here. Oh man, yeah, the God Mirror cards are really cool too. That's that's one of my goals for the collection is to have a set of them. How many one are you day. in right now? Oh, I I only have one of the one of the Mirror right, cards. Right. It's like really low on the list for collecting okay. i have a lot of things above it but it's it's definitely one of the goals what's the number one pride and joy in your collection right now should we rule shark him and say he placed it on the table <laughs> <laughs> yes of course why would you not uh my pride of my collection man that's really hard to answer um, I think, oh man, that's a really hard question. It, it was my, my PSA 10 Goku SIG, but I sold it because I needed money. <laughs> fair, fair. Uh, right now, probably my winner, Denial of Hope. That's probably one of my favorite cards printed. Okay, there you go. That is a crispy art. Oh yeah. I think that's definitely one of my favorite winners. Any of the any of the SIG cards, they're definitely up there too. Sadly, I, I sold all of my SIGs because I needed money. Hey, it's Slowly the card rebuilding. Stocks. It's just so they're just so much money. Like oh, if yeah. you have them and they're in good condition, just get them graded. It, it's just it's crazy. Yeah, it looks like our model Denial of Mike man. is better. Yo, if y'all have not seen the Denial of Mike card I made, uh, <laughs> reach out to me. I'll <laughs> I'll send you the picture. It's hilarious. Actually, you know what I'll do? I'll post it in the Hermit Style Discord right now if y'all want to see it. If I can find it. Uh, it's going to take me too long. I will post it later, though. If anyone wants to see there it. There we go. Remind me. <laughs> Sublet is going in. Swinging with Topo. Armada takes a life. He's got to take two because of the six drop Goku. Yep. He definitely was not thinking about that, though. <laughs> oh, no. Ooh, okay. Passing turn. Down to one. And Sublet doing his checklist of things that Armando can do, as he does every yep. time he plays Apex. <laughs> it's very funny, actually. When it, when we interview him, you'll have to ask him how he, how he says it. Yes. Yep. One's not in your deck. Yeah, uh, man. Yep, there's the D magic. Uh huh. <laughs> Armando just passed the turn. He's just like, just yeah, passing screw turn. Yeah. Strike. I mean, I mean, why not, right? You've got your blocker up. Hopefully, he drew in the gate and maybe get somewhere. The problem is, uh, Sublet still has his invoker ability. Uh, smartly well, saved one. it for when he needed. Um, so now he can look at the hand, know what's left. Yep. Capolo for game. I doubt he plays Capolo. I don't know if there. I mean, maybe he does. I don't know. 
Have we seen a Capla from Sublet? We have not. I don't know if he bursted one. They are in the deck. Um, it's not at the normal ratio, though. So we'll see. It's he, he just may not have it, though. There's yeah, there's no way he has it because he would have just activated it. Armando's at one life. Another rival seekers. Good lord. Good <laughs> lord. He's just showing off now. <laughs> Oh, that's what it looks like. Oh my god. He's a madman. <laughs> yeah, deflect this. <laughs> oh, and now giving him barrier. <laughs> that was the important part there. And there's the yeah, there he is. The new way to play invoker. You have now seen it. He's got every win con of Invoker on the field. <laughs> Wild indeed. <laughs> yeah, I knew that was coming. <laughs> he said spreading out those Gokus just to feel something again. <laughs> oh my, this chat's hilarious. Well, of course, the chat's been amazing. God, another one. I think if Armando survives his turn, Subla should just give him the win, honestly. <laughs> I mean, if he does, he might have the spice, you know? But I don't think he does. <laughs> So I think what just happened was he had activated Warcry to tap the Apex, but yep. Sublet had given him Barrier. Mm -hmm. So many apes in one deck. Yeah, Wogboy 92, they, they fixed it, they fixed it. Armando's still hanging in there. Wow. <laughs> This is hysterical. I think his... His leader's at, what, minus 10 now? Uh, yeah. 
I think so. Pretty sure this match is canon in Super. Oh yeah, hundred percent. It's in he- <laughs> Dragon Ball Hero uh, Super Heroes or whatever. Dra- yeah, sorry, yeah, Dragon Ball uh, Heroes. Oh, Ooh. we see the full moon. So that uh, choose up to one of your mono yellow cards, and it gets plus ten thousand power for the battle. If it's your opponent's turn, you can choose one great ape in your battle area uh, and switch to active mode. And it's finally over. And that's it, guys. Yeah, he's pointing. He's saying the strats of Universe Seven. That's what <laughs> took it. <laughs> that is anyway. That was great, though. Oh, oh man, yeah. that was that, phenomenal. That was awesome to see the Jackie. I'm Chun so come out. happy they went with the third game. That was definitely worth it. That was, oh yeah, that was great. <laughs> well, you know what time it is? It's interview time. Yep. So we guys, we got interview giveaway and then one last surprise coming. So uh, definitely don't leave just yet. Okay, we're ready for that sublet yeah. interview. If he can unmute us. Why did you want to do this, man? <laughs> Why did you want to do this? Why did you want to do this? Pac Man already getting ready for the giveaway. These are fun. All right. Remember, you get... good game, man. Enjoy hey, your Definitely run, remember, guys, you got to wait till uh, we can. Yeah, just make sure y'all wait till we start the giveaway too because uh, otherwise it won't actually get into the uh whatever the system is to enter just sublet can you hear us now i can hear you now perfect Gonna have to turn that one, the music a little bit lower. So, would you like to see my face? Hey, that's up to you. I think all the beautiful people would love to, but that's your choice. We we always want to see your face, Sublet. That's so sweet of you, guys. There we go. <laughs> well, congratulations, sir. So, winning the fight night main <laughs> event. So, Jimmy told me I had to ask you your checklist for the Apex of Power. When you play it in pass turn, your spiel. Huh? Your spiel when you play Apex and then when you pass turn to let your opponent know what they can and can't do. Oh, what about it? Oh, we, we want to hear it. <laughs> oh, oh, Apex. Uh, if I pass turn, I always say, remember, your leader doesn't draw, your unison does nothing, and none of your battle cards have effects. <laughs> and there's always the fingers, too. <laughs> do, do, do. <laughs> I do have to remind your opponent that the leader doesn't draw because it's such a uh, just a, a tendency to you know, turn left and draw a card that you know it's a, it's a habit that you have to stop them and, and tell them immediately or they will do it not on purpose just by complete accident <laughs> fair enough well, okay so walk us through what uh, what made you pick the SS4 first what's up what uh, what made you pick the SS4 Vegeta first over Invoker or Broly? You guys hear me? I can uh, hear we you. can hear you. Can you hear us? Are you asking questions? Because I can't hear a word you're saying if you are. Yes. Can you unmute them? Yeah, they're unmuted. I can hear Jimmy. Just I just responded to Jimmy. Uh, can he not you hear have me? Rosas unmuted? Rosas, did you unmute Sublet I, too? I unmuted him. Yeah, he's on stream. Everyone can hear him. Rosas mm-hmm. is unmuted. If you right click right. on him, he might have the volume on like zero though. No, I don't. Oh, Jimmy, you're doing the rest of the interview. Okay. All right. I have an idea. Uh, I have an idea. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go out and come back. No, perfect. All right, meet me at table one, Jay, and I will. Okay. Uh, I can bring you back. <laughs> Sorry, well, there guys. we go. Technical we'll, difficulties. Uh, we'll get this going in just a minute. Technical difficulties. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> But, uh, of course, stay around because we have something uh, special planned. Maybe we'll, maybe it'll even show up before the giveaway. End it off on a giveaway. Can you. you can hear me now. All right. Yes. Awesome. Okay. Uh, this is most of us awkward. It was just quiet, just silent. It's all good. I thought, <laughs> I thought you were just uh, sitting there just 
trying to mean mug. I'm like, damn, this guy's cold. <laughs> but um, so what I was saying is, what made you choose SS4 first over Broly and Invoker? Oh, so um, originally I chose all three of these decks because they were tier two decks, and Armando let the Discord pick his decks for some reason. So um, they, they're all tier two decks. I thought they'd be fun, a little spicy. They all have some cute little techs. Uh, the OG Broly, you didn't get to see the tech, but you got to see the strategies in Invoker, and SS4 in general is just a cute tech. Um, and then I did so well with it yesterday, I kind of feel bad about using it, to be honest. Um, <laughs> I opened with SS4 because it's the best deck going first or second, and then the idea was if I lost, when I go first, I use Invoker, and if I'm going second, I use OG Broly because OG Broly's better on the go second than it is go first. Fair enough. That's uh that that's that's actually really smart though. It's cool that you even metagamed the Fight Nights format. Which I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad. I just I don't know, man. I don't sleep that much, so I gotta think about something. <laughs> <laughs> think about Fight Night. <laughs> there we go. Oh man. Now, I spent all week on this SS4 Vegeta deck for the like. I haven't thought about the Broly or the... I threw the Broly together last minute, and the Invoker's been together for a while, but... Sure. Those are your decks, though. Yeah. Well, it, it, OG Broly's more Tesco's deck than mine at this point. Giancarlo, for those of you watching. Fair enough. Jimmy, did you have any other questions? Um, How, how do you like Invoker now that it's been hit? Um, I mean, if you're playing against Jackie Chun, it's a very good game. <laughs> I will say that you will not feel threatened, um, and you can play as many six drops as you want. Uh, victory strike becomes unimportant because, I don't know, just kill him with something else. Um, but as far as the meta goes, Invoker is in a very tier two kind of spot right now. Uh, it received a buff on the most recent ban list, the Anniversary Box ban list, because the aggro decks were cut. And so the deck became better. It was it was unplayable completely in King Vegeta FTK format. But without that, the deck is, is playable. The problem is its win condition is so fragile now. The, the six drop that you saw me attack Armando with ten times. Um, I know it didn't look fragile, but it is very fragile. Uh, against blue, they have the blue unison that can remove it, and they have the uh, the Bojack. If you can't kill him on the swing, you can't condemn the 8-drop Bojack's effect to bottom deck it. It's all part of the pay-4 effect. It's not an auto when he's played. So the 6-drop just goes away. Um, yellow can flash it, green can charismatic it, red can kill you before you ever get to it, so who cares anyway? Um, and, and it's like Black occasionally plays Heroin's Lineage and they'll take it. So the way to <laughs> mitigate that is the strategies of Universe 7. With that card, you can no longer get affected by most of the cards that I just mentioned, except Charismatic Villain, but that's what Royal Condemnation and After Side Deck and Beerus Ball is for. However, even with all of those things said, your win condition is still fragile and your deck still struggles to stay in the game. And meta is so widespread right now that it just doesn't work out as well. Invoker, Invoker seems like it's very good in a, in a wide meta, and it usually is, but not without catastrophic blow combos. Um, so, yeah, my, my feeling on Invoker right now is it is, it is strongly tier 2. Uh, certainly playable if you have a passion for it, but there are just better options for people with play styles similar to mine. Well said. Well, yeah. You get your uh, your Fight Night X Hermit style TCG Metal Leader. Um, was there anything you'd like to shout out at this time? Uh, yeah, shout out to Jimmy and Mike and Jay and Pac Man and Armando and Chesco and you, Rosas and uh, Nick and the other Jay. <laughs> and Slammers, I'm sorry, man, I don't know your name. Um, everybody in the Hermit Style podcast group in the Discord. If you're watching this and you're not on the Discord, first off, you missed out on some giveaways that you could have gotten. That, that's a mistake. That's a that's a hard misplay on your part. And two, you're missing out on 
just excellent content in general. Uh, the community is very healthy, very nice. It's it's. A, I don't have a Facebook, from but from what I've been told, it's the exact opposite of that nonsense. Um, You're not wrong. Like, yeah, if you're, if you're watching this and you're not in the Discord, come into the Discord. You know, if, if you like the players you saw today, not just me, but if you like Armando, I promise he doesn't always play Jackie Chun. If you like uh, Giancarlo or Cedric or, or anybody that played today, uh, and I'm tired, I'm forgetting the rest of y'all's names, I'm sorry. I, I made a Discord name, so I, I don't... I'm tired. <laughs> Back man, I, I know you're Larry. Um, but... If you liked any of those players, you can come into the Discord and hit us up and we'll play a game with you or we'll discuss things with you. We can deck doctor you if you need be. And it, it, it's an opportunity that we have not really had before. Like it, It's an international opportunity. Come in if you're from Australia or if you're from a country in Europe um, or, or if you're from Canada, maybe don't. But um... <laughs> Throwing the shade, I love it. <laughs> nice. but regardless uh, it's a wonderful opportunity and if you want to get better at this card game or if you want to see cool decks if you want to have fun if you just want to play this card game in general really join join the discord and listen to the podcast Whew. i couldn't have said it better myself it. <laughs> absolute words from the man who slayed god himself Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for and participating. The the North. Don't forget that. Yeah, there we go. Oh, there we go, too. He's, <laughs> he's got more kills you under his list. You gotta change your username now. <laughs> Can you give Sublet a 3 0 instead of a 2 0? I, I don't even have a 3 on this page. That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> there wasn't even a 3 printed for this because this wasn't supposed to happen, <laughs> but it did. <laughs> But uh, thank you so much for coming out, Sublet, and I hope that Meta Leader looks crispy on your wall of uh, your winning leaders. <laughs> thank you. Have a good one. You as well. See ya. Right. See ya. Later. Later.